What's going on everybody, Josh here with Scrapyard Films. Today I got another Vegas Pro tutorial for you and in this one I'm gonna be teaching you a secret hack for video stabilization to get the perfect active camera movement using its built-in video stabilizer so you don't need to buy any third-party plugins for this. It's extremely useful when you wanna get your very own realistic active camera movement rather than try to make it manual yourself. So without further ado, let's jump right into Vegas 17. Okay, so we have a new instance of Vegas Pro 17 loaded up right here. I'm going to go ahead and roll four different clips that I took. One is going to be the handheld motion like this. It's just me standing in front of a rental car and I'm just holding it with my hands and making some slight movements on purpose so we can see this. This next shot I have is of me standing in my backyard on a tripod, perfectly still, no movement at all. The third shot is of one of my dogs on a tripod again. And the fourth shot is just my camera staring at my sunglasses extremely zoomed in again on a tripod, perfectly still. In the end, we're gonna be wanting to steal the data of all the movement I make in my handheld shot and reapply that to any shot we want. So to start it off, we're gonna drag and drop the handheld movement into a project. We have it right here. You see it's playing, moving, subtle. First thing is I'm gonna bring it to the beginning, right click and I want to create a nested timeline with it. If you haven't saved your parent project, you're going to save it. I'm just going to call this project. And then it'll say, what do you want to call your nest? I'm going to go project underscore nest. Hit save. Once it's done, we are now in the nested project. So from here, we're going to scroll down the very bottom and we're going to go to video stabilization, drag and drop that onto our handheld movement. Go to user view, change that down to expert, and you can keep it on motion compensation. If you want it on accurate or fast, it really doesn't matter which settings you choose here because all it is is gonna take tracking points out of this. So I'm just gonna keep it on this one right here, translation, rotation, and scale. I'm gonna scroll down, and what I do wanna do is increase the number of points per cell grid from two, I'm gonna increase that to 20 so we can be the most accurate. Motion tracker type, you can choose any one of these, they're just algorithms. I personally like Lucas Canades. And then I'm gonna go down to analyze motion, and then wait for this to finish. Okay, now that it's done, I'm gonna close this. Here's what's crazy. If we go into the bottom, we go to Project Media tab over here on the left. We're gonna see our handheld dot move. If we right click and hit replace, then I'm gonna go to one of my other tripod shots. Let's just say tripod one. I'm gonna double click it and I've replaced it right here and it has kept the video stabilization data on its event right here. I'm not gonna mess with it at all. What I am gonna do is go down here to the bottom and then go to my parent timeline. And that's gonna switch over to the main timeline. Now here's the nest, and if I hit play, you're gonna see all the handheld motion has been pasted onto this clip instead. It's basically the reverse of stabilization. Now the only reason I'm seeing black bars down here is because I shot this in Cinema 4K and then rendered it into a 16 to nine aspect ratio, and so there's black bars on the top and the bottom. To counter that, you can just go to the pan and crop, and then zoom in if you need to, and then that gets rid of all the black bars, but keeps the handheld motion. And you can do this with any clip. The main thing you want to remember is when you're shooting your handheld shot, make sure that clip is longer than the shot you want to emulate that handheld motion on. So my handheld motion shot is 20 seconds long, so I need to make sure any clip I want to paste that to is less than 20 seconds. The next thing to finalize this and make it look the most realistic is adding motion blur. Now you can do that with Vegas's built-in motion blur by holding control and shift and pressing B, and that opens the motion control bus down here, but I've never really had luck making this motion blur look good, so I've resorted to using Real Smart Motion Blur, which is a plugin that I purchased and it is awesome. It adds awesome realistic motion blur just by dragging and dropping. So I'm gonna drag one of my custom presets onto this nest itself right here. And now that will add motion blur to the subtle movements. And there you have it. You now know how easy it is to get that awesome, realistic, active camera movement without purchasing any third-party plugins using just Vegas's built-in stuff. If you liked the video, be sure to shoot a like and subscribe down there because that'll really help me out. And I'll see you guys in the next video. And I want to give a special shout out to all of my super subscribers up there at the top. Be sure to check out their channels for some awesome content.